expressions for shape functions of the three dimensional simplex element can be derived in a similar manner as we did for the 1D and the 2D case, but it's a rather involved process. And what we'll do instead is just present the results and you can see the similarities between 2D and 3D case. Obviously there are some differences as well. Now, the, the interpolation function in this case, because it's a simplex element, 3, 3D simplex element is this. And the shape of the element is this, the tetrahedron with four nodes and we need each one of them for the calculation of alphas. Now, if we do that, we get this expression. There will be four shape functions now, obviously, when we are talking about four nodes, pi i, pi j, pi k, pi l, and note that phi in this case will have u, v, and w. We are just writing one expression just to save time. Actually, you need to write the expression for three components of the space. Now here, the shape functions can again be written in a generic form and you'll notice the similarity with the 2D case. Obviously, there will be another set of coefficients D and where it was divided by 2A in the case of 2D element, it is divided by 6B. We call that 1D element was divided by the length L. Now for 6V, we have an analogous expression to that for 2A. And that one is, you have obviously, and this time we have 4 by 4 determinant. Now all we have in here is X, I, Y, I, Z, I, X, J, Y, J, Z, J, X, K, Y, K, Z, K, X, L, Y, L, Z, L. So this is the expression for 6V. Uh, as for uh, the expressions for A, B, C, and D, I'll just write one for each. And you can again spot the similarities between these expressions and those for the 2D case. Obviously, the dimensions will be bigger. This is the X column. This is the y and this is the z, x, y, z, x, y, z. And because this is i, so you have j, 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 k, k, k. This part is similar. And then you have l, l, and l. And similarly for a, j, a, k, and A L. Similar expressions. You can write them down very easily if you get the if you understand the pattern. Now for B I, we call that for B I you had uh, in, in the column for X you had ones, you still have ones here, you had a negative here still have negative here so that we retain the columns for y and in this case z also. This is the column for y, this is the column for z, this is i. So you have here again j, k, and l. And similarly for b, j, b, k, and b, l. Now c. Then you have a 3 by 3 determinant for C and uh, the Y column will now be 1's. Here you have X column, here you have Z column, this is I, so you have J, J, K, K, L, L, and then you can write the expression for C, J, C, K, and C, L in a similar manner. Finally, there's an extra set of 
coefficients d's and you, you have a negative sign there also. Now there's an extra set of coefficients again that one should now be in this column and you have x column and y column and i here so here is j k and m and you can write similar expression for d j d k and yeah so it is very obvious that the expressions are quite involved and even to calculate these for one element by hand will be a very tedious process but we can always employ the computer for that purpose.